suspects are wanted in connection with a police shooting in IAEA earlier this morning. We first told you about it as breaking news. Since then, we've learned it started with police trying to pull a driver over for speeding. Jen Boniza has the latest. Jen? Joe, the incident was, has residents in a small IAEA neighborhood frightened, and police are still piecing together exactly what happened. A witness who declined to be on camera says he woke up to a loud bang near his home on Kaluamoy Drive just before 6 a.m. When he looked out the window, he says he saw a police car speeding toward the main road. Police say it all started with a speed enforcement stop. And this was near the HECO power plant in Pearl City. The officer then got into his car and followed the suspect vehicle to a nearby residential area. A witness tells me he saw the police car tailing the suspect's car down Kaluamoy Drive, but said the police car didn't have its lights on at the time. Chief Ballard confirmed the officer didn't initially have his blue light on. The witness says he saw the car turn around and the police car tried to block the road. The officer got out of his car. The vehicle then immediately accelerated towards the officer, narrowly missing him. Fearing for his life, the officer discharged his firearm. The suspects drove just over a mile away to Kaonohi Street and ditched the car. Ballard says a witness saw two males fleeing on foot. Police are continuing to search for the suspects, but have not released their descriptions. Do you know when the officer shot, did he hit the suspect? We, that's still part of the investigation. It's unknown at this time. We do know that the uh, side, the driver's side window was shattered uh, from the round, but we are unknown at this time um, if there's any injuries to the suspect. A source says that there was blood found inside the abandoned vehicle. When asked if the vehicle was stolen... It was not reported stolen. It's transfer pending, um, and so that's going to be part of the investigation. Police have opened a first-degree attempted murder investigation. Chief Ballard says this is the seventh officer-involved shooting so far this year, compared to six in 2018. We will continue to follow the story and let you know what happens. Joe.